Cue the sick intro. We gotta work on our sick intro. Everybody says that I'm too uptight, so <laughs> I'm going reverse chair on all you folks. That's right. What's up, guys? Pew Pew Stabby here. What's going on? And today's show is brought to you by Double Star and Get the Oops Kit. What's the Oops Kit? The Oops Kit. You don't know what an Oops Kit is? Mm -mm. I probably needed one as a kid. This is an Oops Kit. For those of you that don't know, that right there is an Oops Kit. Oh, that's for when you take your stuff apart and you can't figure out wrong stuff. That's with. right. So if you, uh, let me get this rolling. When you get the, uh, when you buy your AR or your lower or whatever, and uh, you lose some parts because it happens, that is what the Oops Kit is for. All right, here we go. Oh, well, that's all that little stuff that you lose when you take it apart. That's it. That's and exactly why you can't put it, it back together. I needed this as a kid. My uncle's got tons of guns that I took apart and never right. able to put it back together. There all you right. go. Yeah. So anyway, Oops Kit. Today's show, this is the item of the week. We're starting the item of the week this week. Oops Brought Kit. to you by Double Star. By, well, it's all brought to you by Double Star. Absolutely. An ace. See the shirt? All right, good. Everybody all right? John Savarese says, what's up? What's up, Big John? Uh, so, Oops Kit. Little parts you lose, little springs. I'll tell you what's in the Oops Kit. Take down D10 springs. There's four of them because you might lose more than one. By the way, we got to read this because we put so much stuff in there. That's right. So, I can't remember it all. Yeah. Take down detents. Maybe detents you lose. There's four of those. Buffer detents, two. Buffer detent springs, two. Firing pin retainer pin, the little cotter pins. You know what I'm talking about. There's two of those. There is a tech call on 880. A tech call on 880. An extractor spring. There's two of those. Selector springs, two of those. Selector detents, two of those. Uh, and just in case you didn't know, a little tidbit for you, your selector spring and your ejector spring and your bolt, same spring. Right? Just so in case you need it. If you have to have it, now you know. Yank it out of that grip, stick it in that bolt. Go to town. Last thing, extractor bumper pads. So those are the little tiny bumper pads that go inside your spring. All in here, $15.99. Get it on star15.com. Part number is AR791. Type it in the search bar at the top. Or just type in oops. Oops, kid. And uh, pull it right up. Get that on order. Brought to you by, okay. The letter O for oops. Oh, we could do this like Sesame Street. We could do it like Sesame Street. Well, I don't know, is that copyright infringement? I don't know, I don't really care. Okay, oops. cool. So, we, uh, we covered some pretty serious stuff the last couple of shows. Yeah. We decided to go a little more lighthearted this week. So we just kind of searched around and found some different news stories that were going on. And uh, we figured we'd talk about that, get some feedback from you guys. That and 4th of July weekend. Oh, yeah, we got 4th of July weekend coming up. Everybody getting ready to and celebrate now, the 4th. Yeah, yep, yep, that's get good. Out, get your grilling on and get your going out camping on because that's usually a really good time. So. That's what we do. Yeah. Fireworks. Fireworks and firearms. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and all right. you folks all burn up at the emergency room. <laughs> yeah. Try not to come back looking like me. Exactly. Just kidding. So uh, that's a story to sell talking about people blowing themselves up. No, yeah. You well, you know, sometimes you stand a little too close, a little too long, and next thing you know, you're missing digits. I think one of the dangerous things is little kids with sparklers. I think it's probably one of those. Stuff. You don't realize how yeah. dangerous they are until yeah. they yeah. stab you in the until ear. Until they nail you with one of them. Yeah. And so. that thing is still burning. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that's coming up next week. Just so you know. We will not have Pew Pew and Stabby next week because we do it on Tuesdays. Yeah. And we're going to not do it because of the 4th. So Observing the 4th. Take your, uh, enjoy your time with your families and uh, your vacation time. Hopefully you get the day off. If you don't, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. John says he knows a little bit about blowing stuff up. Yeah, he sure does. His, uh, for, uh, well, I can't provide too much information, but uh, Dad's, his, his father was a demolitions expert in my town where I grew up, so... His old man knew how to blow some stuff up, and John actually uh, does quite a bit of that, too. Oh, yeah? yeah? I'd like to meet John sometime. Yeah, John's good people. Sounds like fun. John, I'd like to meet you someday. But, uh, so anyway, we got some some, uh, some cookouts going on. Personally, I've got... Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm doing this weekend. Mm -hmm. My son Chase and I, we signed up for the Coach Cal Perry father-son basketball camp. Right? Oh. Father-son... <laughs> 
We have we have fans. Yeah, yeah. coming by the window. Yeah, we're faces popular. at us. But uh, father son basketball camp. Get to go meet the players. And uh, Chase likes it because he gets to stay in the dorm and eat in the cafeteria. Wait, at UK? At UK. What? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, shout good. out to my girls. They're both Wildcats now. So it's official. The Wildcat family. We, we are Wildcat people for the most part in this building. So if you don't like that, sorry. But uh, so I'm going to do that. And then uh, my nephew, uh, Jesse and Stacey's boy, Alex's birthday is tomorrow. Yep. So Happy we're birthday, do, Alex. Belated for early. early. Early birthday to Alex. And uh, then Stacy's birthday is this weekend, too. Oh, she kept that under wraps. Yeah, Sunday. Oh. Yeah. I may have let the cat out of the bag, Stacy. Sorry. Not sorry. But uh, so anyway, we got some family stuff going on there. What is that? Wait, they never tell you. They, my, they don't want you to know. But anyway, so that's that's what we've got going on this week. And hopefully after that, we go blow some stuff up and camp or do something. Yep. Can't sit around the house on 4th of July weekend. No. No. We get out. I mean, it's, it's always family time. Yeah. You know, usually uh, the 4th uh, will run out somewhere to try to find a high spot to catch whatever fireworks, fireworks are going on. Um, this will be our last year celebrating 4th of July in, down in Tennessee. Next year we'll be up here, I think, probably next year I've heard that the, there's a couple couple of hillsides that you can catch like several of the towns doing their thing oh, yeah. you know um, a lot of jacks you can see them that's what I heard yeah that's what right. I heard he's, yeah. he's in a great spot for anybody out there chime up so we're not sitting here talking about us so you guys can you know go ahead and give us some more information but in the meantime I'm going to keep talking uh, actually this weekend I'm going to be moving some of my shop they moving it up here to Kentucky All right. Uh, yeah cool. we'll move some of the shop and then uh just trying to spend some time with the family because usually July is a real busy month for us. Actually, uh, yeah. uh, props to my son. He's going to be uh, heading to Puerto Rico to be doing a basic test for the Sea Cadets. Really? Yeah. He's going to be oh, doing wow. his. Going to be doing two weeks of basic with the Sea Cadets down in Puerto Rico, and then uh, and then obviously we got our uh, annual FCS camp that'll be going on uh, third weekend of July here. So usually we're not going to be. It's going to be really busy. Hard to see family. Sure. Yeah. So. I know they can't take the. That's a little bit of concentration. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That Not to say it's a concentration camp. camp. Yeah. I didn't mean that. Yeah. We're camp all held up way. behind barbed wire. Yeah. No. Um, that sounds like fun, though. I know Jesse enjoys that. Yeah, it'd be really cool to do, uh, maybe do a slip of the show. Yeah. On that. I think so. So we can do maybe Puking and Stabby live from the uh, FCS yeah. show, FCS uh, 2017. That'd be awesome. Camp. I think so people would enjoy that. Be watching, folks. Yeah. That'd be something new for me because I obviously don't know anything about it. Yeah, it'd be really cool, and it'd be cool to tune in on that show just for you folks out there who've never seen any of the alternative knife combat stuff. So maybe we'll show you guys some stuff and give you guys some tips or something like that. So that'd yeah, be cool. that'd be great. All right, so uh, where do we start? I don't, I'm going to start with our Canadian sniper. Well, I guess it's Canada's Canadian sniper. Yeah, but I'll claim him because he made now the longest confirmed snipe, sniper kill. In history, um, and then I heard he apologized for yeah, it. Yeah, I heard something. I don't know if this is <laughs> true, <laughs> but I heard the dude apologize for it. I mean, that's a rub on Canadians, but you know, hey, kudos to you guys. Right. Uh, you know, I say get ten more. <laughs> you know. That's right. So you know, just keep up the good work, Canada. Get that's it right. done. You know. Hey. So anyway, longest confirmed kill, thirty-four hundred and fifty meters. That is just over two miles. That's a lot of real estate, folks. Now, I don't know if any of you have shot any long-range rifle or any, at all, but, uh, you know, at a distance of 2.14 miles, you have to start factoring in a lot of different things. Um, you know, the distance between, you know, when you pull the trigger, the time, they said it, it was a 10-second delay between the seconds. time he pulled the trigger to the time it made impact. Dude, that's coffee ISIS. and donuts. Yeah. By the time it gets to the mark. I mean, that's crazy. Yep. And then figure how many times the wind changes back and forth. In between here and In there. between here and there. Mm -hmm. And Curvature of the earth, spiral. Yeah. You got your Coriolis effect. Yep. That's, that comes into play. Uh, yep. I mean, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, so. for all you flat earthers out there. It's not real. Not real, man. Not real. Or else the math wouldn't be there. So, I, hey, I love y'all, but. Yep. The world know, is round. The world is round. You heard it here first. Yep. Keep you in the stab. It's confirmed. We are professionals. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so. But anyway, so his rig was a McMillan Tac 50. 
and 50 BMG. 50 BMG. So if you've ever had the pleasure of getting behind a 50 BMG, no, nope. it is uh, it is something to behold. I hope to do someday. It's on the bucket list. Yeah, it is. It's pretty crazy. I took a long range uh, course with a guy that used to work here, and uh, we shot out just over a thousand yards. And that That's was a lot of real estate. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was. Uh, I used his rifle. He had a very nice rifle. It was in uh, 300 Win Mag, but we were shooting out past a thousand yards at you know targets. I have to say, I, I want to brag because I was pretty proud of myself. If I had the best group at a thousand yards, five inch group with three shots at a thousand yards. Wow, that I was like you were good. giving something like you were happy to hit it. <laughs> You well, I, I was. Mean, I was happy. That'd be me. I'd be like, gone cool, I hit it. And I mean, just the, the delay, you know, from yeah. the time you pull the trigger, you can stop, listen, ding. You're like, yeah. yeah. That'd be, that's cool. But there's a lot that goes on in a shot like that. So the previous record was just over a mile and a half. Um, and it was done by a British sniper. Um, I think they said in Iraq. So kudos to the Canadians. Yeah. For teaching these guys how to take awesome shots. And speaking of the and speaking of the Brits, any of you guys out there who like to read, um, be honest with you, the Brits really they've got a great they got great teams. Yeah. Great teams. Oh yeah, they've I've heard great teams. Actually, so they they coined the S's sock, shine, shimmer, shape, uh, shadow, and several other uh, silhouette. The five S's when uh -huh. they learn, yeah when these guys learn how to do their sniping stuff and crawling around out in the bushes. Really? Yeah, they got the five S's and all that. Those guys are pretty slick. Yeah, wow. that's cool. So kudos to the Canadians. Yep. I know we rib them a lot, but that's pretty yeah, awesome. Good job, guys. It's pretty awesome. All right, next story up. How many people have dogs? Everybody loves dogs, right? Well, most people do anyway. Yeah. I know we're we're all dog we're people dog here. People. We have uh, we have Gracie, and we have Izzy, two big lab. Well, one big lab and one regular size lab. And uh, you know we've most everybody here has a dog at home, so yep. we love our dogs. So we're going to give dogs some props. We're going to call this dog news. Uh, canine in Clackamas County, Oregon. And if we said it wrong, Clackamas, sorry, sorry. But just remember, I'm a hillbilly. Yep, doing the best I can. So in Oregon, canine named Spencer hit the rare canine hat trick. Capturing three suspects in 90 minutes. 30, that's 30, is that 30 seconds? No, 90 30, minutes. 30 minutes. 90 minutes. That's 90 minutes. That's a fast dog, man. That's, that's crazy. So to give you a breakdown of how it went down, uh, the first one was at 1020, and uh, Spencer found a guy hiding out that was a stolen vehicle suspect. He ditched the car, ran off in the weeds. Spencer found him, no problem. That was at 1020 a.m. At 11.34, they laid him loose on a parole violator, found him in a trailer. Right? No problem. Spencer's on point today. Now, number three, nine minutes later, nine minutes later, at 11.44, he found this chick hiding in the bushes that had multiple drug warrants. She was a drug dealer, had a bunch of stuff on her, and he found her. Man, my man earned some kibble. I mean, give the dog a day off, yeah, right? For real. This is Miller time for him, man. Yeah. For real. So, to Spencer, hats off. If we ever meet Spencer, definitely give that Actually, that if this gets out to anybody who knows Spencer, if you guys can find your way to Kentucky, we'd love to have you on the show. Yeah, absolutely. Just bring him in. Absolutely. Bring him in. Actually, I've got a friend uh, whose name is Nick that trains dogs in, uh, in Mercer County. Uh, that, that might be somebody. So, Nick, I'm going to be calling you, buddy. You might, you might be a great one to have on the show. Absolutely. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's pretty awesome. So if anybody's got it, hey, again, here we are talking, waiting for you guys to chime yeah, in. They're really quiet today. Nobody said anything. I, I mean, there's Other people there. Zone. There's people there. You know. Yeah. This is not all about you, contrary to what you may think. That's right. We want we want you all to enjoy the show. Exactly. But uh, anyway, so we'll just keep talking. Absolutely. I don't have a problem with that. Absolutely. Um, what was the next thing? Oh, another thing I read. I've been reading a lot here lately. I know that strikes You know it's fundamental. Yeah, I heard that. It's on commercial. So, uh, apparently there was a UFC fight this weekend. And I'm not really big into that. 
I like UFC, but I didn't have any idea who this person was. I was like, yeah, whatever. So uh, there were two ladies that had a match. And uh, apparently it got pretty intense. So intense that one of them left a Never. little left a little scat on the on the uh, <laughs> on the mat. Two, number two themselves. <laughs> scat on the mat. <laughs> oh, man. So I, I I I refer to you on this. I mean, you've been in the uh, yeah in the hand to hand yeah uh, jiu um, world much longer than I have. Well, I've heard rumors about that. I've heard that people, you know, uh, in like people have gotten their their butts handed to them pretty bad. Not not in the UFC. But like out in the street, and I've heard people, you know, where they've gotten pounded really bad, where they've uh, they skidded themselves. Yeah. Uh, but as far as in the UFC, <laughs> all, all I'm saying is, is that's like bragging rights. Yeah. If you say you literally beat the crap out of somebody, <laughs> dude, I mean that's that's really taking your image to a whole other level. That's um, that's what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, I mean it's possible because it, I mean, depending on the severity of the beating, you know how many times that person's head is concussed. A lot of times it can cause. The person's lose. loss of yeah, yeah, and you're either either urination or defecation of the two. Yeah, wow. So I mean, it's hard to it's hard to imagine you losing that kind of control of yourself. Right. But if you've ever had your tail handed to you severely, um, you know that there's a there's, there's a point in time where you're really kind of taking. It's not good. Not good. <laughs> it's very very not much good. not good. So, you know, as far as I was told, girls don't poop. So. That is pretty. That, yeah, that's that's uh, pretty amazing. We're yeah. not we're not calling out any names here. We're just saying. No, that's, you know, that's, that was tough. I, like, I, did I they biohazard the ring afterwards? How, or, how you would, know? I don't know. How would you? Would you have to? I mean, you don't, they didn't stop the fight. Well, you know, the crazy thing about that is, is that uh, well, any of you guys who who, who grapple, um, a lot of my senior instructors and stuff like that, we're talking an awful lot about you know this whole thing about keeping the mats clean. Mm-hmm. You know because. I mean, people walking on them, you know, and all the, all the different, a lot, of, a lot of gyms are really big about keeping the mats clean. If there's any of that going on, i definitely say. Uh, but, I mean, you can catch all kinds of stuff off of mats. Sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could catch staff. I mean, you could catch all kinds of lovely stuff. I got several friends of mine that, that have rolled or they work in a lot of gyms, and um, I've seen a lot of that, and it's not good. Not good at all. So, anyways... They probably had to do something. I don't know. Did they keep fighting? I mean, did she do yeah. anything? And they just yeah, they, they, Dang, well, man. from what I could tell, the short video I watched, she kind of rolled her over, and then she tapped. So I don't know. I think she tapped. Maybe they just stopped the fight. But either way, not good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get to the point where you've gotten beat to the point of where you no longer have control of your bodily functions. Yeah, that's you're bad that news. Way. So John says, Rob, have you heard about the fugitives from Tennessee that are at large back home? Actually, no, that's new. Uh, I'd like to know which town that's at because, you know, um, no, we should probably find out about that. Actually, um, if, that, if that's in Memphis, I don't really care, to be honest with you. But, uh, uh, yeah, definitely uh, probably need to check that out. What do you, what do you where's mean? that at, John? John, where's that at? you got to let us know. Yeah, actually, if you, have, if you got more info, just go ahead and spiel that out there. Um, all I got to say about that is a good thing I'm getting out of Tennessee. What can I say? Well, that's, yeah. Actually, my parents, where I grew up, there's a, a prison a couple miles down the road, and they had a, last year or the year before, there was a riot. In the prison? In the prison, and, and there was a couple of them that got loose. So, so my dad, you know, at the time, he was still accumulating weapons for the house and I can just I, was, I just told him I said just get ready you know you hear, it up, if man. you hear something but now he's got a big German shepherd so I think well with it being extra prison he probably needs about four or five <laughs> yeah. he needs a whole he needs a whole uh, what is it that they call that with a bunch of wolves a pack uh, he needs a pack he needs a pack of German shepherds a pack shepherds. of wolves and a pack of Newports you know? yeah just a pack of wolves just a pack pack of wolves yeah but uh, that's pretty crazy he said he'll post a link up here in a minute. Good deal. Thanks, John. Yeah, appreciate that, man. So, uh, what else? Um, With you guys not talking, we just got to keep talking. So, again. They are wanted for murder, I think, in Tennessee, but they are large in Worcester County. Oh! New York or Tennessee? I didn't know there was an Ulster County, Tennessee. 
maybe. Ulster. If Ulster County, I mean, if it's Ulster County, New York, is that where you're from? That's where both. That's where we're both from. Oh, well, he said it was at your, at your where you used to live. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't hear. So we're from Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. In New York. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're originally the two of us. In New were, York. We're two, the two of us originally raised in Ulster County, New York, which is actually rural New York. Um, now, and and I'll be honest with you, there's a bunch of gun-toting folks up there. Beyond the, they better not. They better just make sure that. They keep their eyes down and their teeth crossed you because you go to Ulster County, specifically Clintondale, New York, you will get shot. <laughs> I can promise you that. You will get shot. Don't mess with Ulster County. No, no, you will get shot. All my family packs up there. Yeah, they, well, they, they should. Pack. They all pack. They should absolutely. Uh, all right. So uh, another thing I saw this week: Burger King has released. A line of milkshakes with cereal in them. Lucky Charms and Fruit Loops is what I saw so far. I don't know, man. That just. But you. It's, it's pretty much what's going on in the world anymore. There's nothing original. Nothing original, yeah. There's nothing original. I mean, look at the movies anymore. I mean, they remake everything. What well, we on, like, the ninth? I saw an advertisement for the ninth or something, Planet of the Apes. Uh, of course, all the superhero movies are remade. Yeah. Which, I gotta say, I went and watched Wonder Woman the other night. Yeah. It they had a corniness factor to it. It wasn't, yeah. The story wasn't bad, but the corniness factor. Yeah. The whole, like, ah. Which, you know, that's kind of the way, I mean. Yeah. Originally, you look at, look at Batman, like Adam West Batman. That was all corny. Dude, he just passed away, yeah. like, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Like, the world stood still. I, I was kind of bummed. Like, I'm not one of those people that, like, I understand people pass away. Yeah. You know, uh, people that I grew up with are kind of, you know, like Chris Cornell dying. That was kind of, yeah, that, that was kind of hit me. Dude, I saw them. Well, no, no story. No, no story. But, yeah. the, and then Adam West. So, I mean, uh, that's a, uh, you know, that's a, uh, that's tough. Rhonda Garrett says, we have a 1911 PhD on hand to show off. Rhonda, we do not have it we in our not. office, and I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Catch us next week. We can fix that. Yeah, Rhonda, will you come back next week? If you do, I will have a PhD. Well, Scouts it'll be, it'll Honor. Be well, two it'll weeks. Be the week after. Scouts Honor. Two weeks. Well, look, there he is. There's your link. Oh, boy. Oh, Double Star just said they'll bring us one. Ha, Rhonda. We Rhonda, got one you're coming. in luck. You are in luck, and we got plenty of time to show it off. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll just go on and unlock the door here real quick. Yeah, because we've got to uh, we got to keep the fans out. But on a completely different note, uh, mentioning Chris Cornell. Yeah. Uh, I went to an Alice in Chains concert when I was I don't know probably 18, 19 years old. Yeah. It was at a, a the CD Dive in upstate New York, and uh, look you there. There's our man Justin. Nice. Delivery, Thank you, sir. Thank you. So anyways, I'll finish. Just appreciate you. Props to the graphics department. Air Double Star. If you like any of our ads or anything that's yep. pretty, Justin did it and he walked out before yep. you got a chance to pop Give props, but, but that's show right. some love to our graphics arts department. They do awesome things. So Rhonda, bam, there it is. The 1911 PhD. Just take it in. Just take it all in. Can you see it? I don't know. It's kind of hard know. to. It's delayed. Yeah, it's so a just, little delayed. You know. So, uh, some of the features of the PhD, we'll go over that real quick since you asked, and I appreciate that. First, we've got the excess tritium site. Uh, that is, not to muzzle sweep Rob over here, you see it's a V notch rear sight, and it's got a big tritium dot in the front. Rob, you have to watch, you have to man the comments there. Cause I can't see him fast. I want to questions. Get swept again. I'm just to send out I know. I didn't sweep you. Now we've got the uh, flat tops and serrated on top to keep the glare down. We're running a five-inch Storm Lake stainless barrel. It's the same barrel we run in our C-series pistols. The next next step up. Um, as far as cocking serrations, we've got these deep grooves in the rear, and then the front we've got the high point cut. So it's a little more narrow no nose and. Uh, Gives you somewhere to cock with, and also it fits in the holster a little better, a little easier. 
Uh, and we've got these tuned uh, between uh, three and a half and four and a half pounds on the trigger. Cylinder and slide shop internals. We've got the Magpul 1911 grips. And if you see on this side, it's got the pocket cut out so you can get in there and drop your mag a little easier. On the rear, hot. yeah. On the rear, we've got the uh, the grooves here cut on the round tail. Uh, not a bob, not quite a bob tail, but uh, much nicer. It's not going to catch on your clothes if you're if you're carrying concealed. It's not going to get hung up on your shirt. Uh, and then the high rise beaver tail grip safety. So uh, there it is. In a she nutshell. Wants to know, uh, Rhonda wants to know if it can be ordered with an Andy safety. You know what, Ron? Absolutely. You need to call in and you need to talk to my boy Chris. Yep, Chris Hatton. That's who you want to be talking to. And since I'm not the gun guy, but I will say this, this is one of the, probably one of the most underrated 45s in the entire industry. Absolutely. Um, we'll, we'll up and run with all the big dogs, folks. And Absolutely. Thank you, Rhonda. We appreciate it. Thanks for asking about it. Um, like you said, we can definitely... There's some things, obviously, 1911s, we don't have near as many options as we do in the AR line, but uh, things like uh, an AMB safety, we should be able to facilitate that, no problem. And if she wants to go ahead and call now, let me just go ahead and give you the number. It'd be 1 859 745 1757 and ask for Chris Hatton. Chris Hatton. If you want to talk, you need to talk to Chris Hatton because he can tell you all about it. This is his baby. Him and it Jesse. Is ground up. Put this together. Uh, they, they worked out all the details, and they're quite proud of it, and they should be. Yep, great gun. And I have it on good authority that you will see it on the newsstands again. It's been on multiple covers, but it will be out again very soon. And we're actually trying to, we're talking to our, our friends over at Mixflip, too, possibly. Oh, yeah, them. Mixflip is a, is a guy out of Vegas that does some YouTube stuff. Uh, I just sent him a few things, so and we'll... He's wanting uh, to get his hands on one, so... So we're working that out. We're trying to get out there where the uh, where the video guys are. Yep. Uh, you know, print media is, is slowing down just a hair. So we're trying to get out where you guys can watch, watch on your phones while you're waiting to get your hair cut or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, get out there and see and give us feedback. You may even see Pew Pew and Stabby shooting a 45 here sometime soon. That's right. We've got something cooking. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? That's probably trademark too. I know, but whatever. Whatever. But you know what we mean. We've you know, got, Dwayne, if you've got a problem with it, just come on the show here and talk about it with us. Yeah, sure. we'd love to have. We'd love to have a talk with you about it. Rhonda says she built her AR with a double star lower. Rhonda, what, that's what? awesome. Me too. <laughs> Welcome to the nation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you want to send us pictures of your AR, that'd be awesome too. That'd be awesome. We're trying to get a little uh, customer build area put up on the website, so we'd love to have it. Send it in to Nick. N-I-C-K at star15.com and uh, we'll put it in there with the other ones I've got. So, anyway, we're winding down here a little bit. Yep. It's almost 4.30. We realize people have things to do and for those of you that have stuck around, we appreciate yep, you spending absolutely a, very much. a half hour of your day with us yep. or, or your week or whatever. Please don't forget to keep posting too. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, keep, keep posting stuff up there. so we can Share this, there. like it, send yep. it out, tell your friends about it. Yep. Hopefully you enjoyed a, a little less gun, a little, a little less pew pew, a little less stabby, a little more uh, current events, and we'll, uh, we'll continue to we'll continue to work that mix in as people give us feedback. If you like it, good. If you'd like to see more stuff about guns, good. We can do that too. Just let us know what you like. Yep. And uh, we'll work it in. So everybody have a great 4th of July. Absolutely. Spend a lot of time with your families. Enjoy. Uh, your family time, your cookouts. I hope you uh, hope you cook something good. I like to eat, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that part of yeah. of this weekend. So. Absolutely. Thank Be you careful. all. We'll see you all out there. We'll see you. Take care. See God you in a couple bless. Weeks. Peace.